Chapter 1. First Encounter. An ancient castle stood magnificently in the middle of the forest, exuding an aura of grandeur and mystery. But Luther's gaze settled on the young lady before him. Her face was fair and pleasantly oval. She had a bit of baby fat, a small nose and a delicate, cherry-lipped mouth. She gave a good feeling with her clear, glowing eyes that were extremely pretty. Her tenderness and brightness surfaced in a naturally pleasing blend. It could be said that she had the most perfect face from the Orient. Any experience with chaperoning? No. Your main duty is to take care of Master's daily living needs. Regardless of anything, you are to fulfill all of his demands. Furthermore, do not agitate him, Mr. Luther said. His eyes were very sharp, as if they could pierce through Shin Chenchu's skin. Oh! Shin Chenchu replied, flustered. In the past ten days, I've changed twenty chaperones. Whether you are able to remain here will depend on your luck. Oh my! Ten days! Twenty chaperones! Is the owner of this castle a great devil, or just really hard to work for? No wonder the pay is so high. Butler Luther stared at the petite and pretty young woman, stating lightly, There are a few things I have to emphasize. Master loves silence. Do not speak unnecessarily. Secondly, which is equally important, when you are attending to him, leave the castle before sundown. All right? Shin Chen Shu answered. For some strange reason, she felt a chill, a subtle current, run down her spine. She shuddered. In an instant, this grand and mysterious castle was shrouded in a layer of mystery. But Le Luther led Shin Chen Shu up to the second floor. Barefooted, she stepped lightly on the purely handwoven carpets, ensuring not a sound was made. But Le Luther pushed the door open. Like a curious child, Shin Chen Shu was immediately drawn in by the extravagance in the room which was luxurious in its splendor, before her eyes locked onto a figure settled by the window. Yi Ling sat on the sofa by the window. His white collared shirt was buttoned all the way to the top, coupled with a pair of long, black trousers. He exuded an aura that was both strict and cold. His face remained expressionless as Shin Chen Shu moved tentatively towards him to greet him. Instantly, she was stunned. Damn! What a captivating face! His facial features were striking, so perfect that they could have formed an artist's most treasured portrait. His brow ridge was high, making his eyes appear deep. His amber eyes were rare, piercing like the most precious, sought-after shard of icy gemstone. Thin lips, high nose. His face could overthrow all of mankind. Master, this is the new chaperone, Sarah. From today, she will be responsible for your daily life. Luther spoke respectfully in his presence, his voice steady and level. The man's frosty gaze locked onto Shin Chen Shu's face for a moment. Like a frozen lake in the winter, they were deep and icy cold and the temperature in the room dropped instantly. Shin Chen Shu returned his penetrating gaze, took a deep breath and revealed a bright smile. Hello Master. I am Sarah. Upon seeing the smile on her face, Luther was slightly shocked. This lady. She's not afraid of Master. There were very few people who can still afford a smile upon facing Master. Hmm. This girl is not bad. The man pressed a button on the sofa, turning it around so that his back faced them. Shin Chen Shu followed Luther downstairs. Butler Luther, is Master ill? Luther nodded slightly. Shin Chen Shu pondered to herself silently. No wonder he looked so pale. It was as if he had never seen daylight. He gave off such a defeated feeling. After Butler Luther had left, only Yi Ling and Shin Chen Shu remained alone in the entire castle. Butler Luther had left her a comprehensive list describing the master's meal times and when he had to take his medicine, with times and quantities detailed clearly. Shin Chen Shu finally understood why the chaperones Luther hired were all Asian. Almost all the meals stated in the list were Chinese dishes. In the kitchen, the fridge was filled with fresh ingredients and Shin Chen Shu followed the recipes religiously to prepare the meal. Once she had finished cooking, she brought the meal upstairs to the second floor, pushing the arabesque door open. Yi Ling sat upon the sofa, his presence similar to a statue. 
Shen Qian Xu remembered Butler Luther's earlier words. Do not speak unnecessarily. She placed the meal down lightly with the medicine, then left quietly. Come back. Just as she was about to leave the room, Yi Ling called out, his voice husky and sexy. Somewhat surprised, Shen Qian Xu turned around as Yi Ling stared at her with his cold eyes. No good, make another one. Shen Qian Xu was speechless. He had not even moved the chopsticks on the table, had he already judged whether it's good or not from its smell? Sure, whatever. Good-looking people are willful. All right. On her first attempt at making Yi Ling a meal, Shen Qian Xu spent two hours. With him making her do it again from scratch for four times, she was on the verge of exploding. For the money, I have to endure this. On the fourth time, Yi Ling finally stopped finding fault with the food and ate it. Shen Qian Xu cursed furiously. It's the same method and same taste. Why didn't you say that it tasted bad? You're hungry, aren't you? Chapter 2 Secret in the Castle In the afternoon, Shen Qian Xu was by herself learning French in the living room downstairs. She heard the doorbell ring and walked barefooted on the carpet to the second level. Not a sound could be heard throughout the castle. Yi Ling had an eccentric temper. Sometimes, it was somewhat sweet and light, sometimes, he was silent, and sometimes, he was easily irritable. His temper was unpredictable and uncertain. Butler Luther had left to Athens and would be away for three months, leaving only her and Yi Ling in the castle. Yi Ling had recurring headaches. Every afternoon, she would give him a massage. Yi Ling sat by the window, his appearance like a perfectly carved statue. A storm was brewing. Shen Qian Shu had taken care of him for over a month now and knew his temper well, he was starting to show symptoms again. She did not know exactly what illness Yi Ling had. She only knew of Yi Ling's frequent headaches, and they were very serious ones. Yi Ling rested his head on Shen Qian Shu's lap, his eyes slightly closed as she massaged him gently. With clean and delicate fingers, she rubbed his temple with an even pressure that was neither too hard, nor too soft. Yi Ling's brows were constantly furrowed, as though he was frustrated. With his eyes shut, he was much more pleasing to the eyes than with his usual icy expressions. Shen Qian Shu was able to look closely at his curled eyelashes, fine and dense, they were extremely beautiful. Shen Qian Shu felt that all this time, she was only able to bear with him because of this face of his. This face, it is simply too captivating. She massaged Yi Ling for an hour and a half. Her arms had become so tired and sore they felt like they were no longer hers, but she did not dare to relax. If she were to relax even slightly, Yi Ling would always notice, and his temper would go out of control. She could sense Yi Ling's pain and his incredible self restraint. She simply could not understand, with such an unbearable headache, why was he not admitted to the hospital? Why was the entire castle empty, completely devoid of any people, with only Yi Ling and her? Butler Luther told her that he was the one who usually looked after Yi Ling. However, as he needed to go to Athens for three months, he had to seek a chaperone to look after Yi Ling's daily needs. But in ten days, he had already changed all twenty of them. The fact that she could even endure this for over a month, to Luther and Yi Ling, it was definitely a miracle. The only reason Shen Qian Shu was able to endure his strange behavior, his temperamental nature and his ability to always make things difficult for her, was all purely because of the salary and his appearance. Just massaging him like this for two hours straight without any complaint, was already something that would be unbearable for many others. On Yi Ling's forehead, beads of sweat surfaced. He was in a lot of pain. Although she did not understand why, Shen Qian Shu was soft-hearted and could not help but feel distressed. He was in such pain, yet he endured it all silently and had never made a single sound. Her massaging would only soothe his pain slightly, but it was not capable of treating his headache. With her fair and warm palm, Shen Qian Shu gently wiped off his sweat. Yi Ling suddenly opened his eyes. His amber pupils were deep as he gave her a penetrating stare. Her cheeks flushed instantly. The tension in the air was so thick you could cut through it with a knife. She was incredibly nervous and the sweat on her palms seemed to generate power like a battery, 
transmitting current from her palm straight to her heart. This action, it's too intimate. In the silent castle, there was only the sound of the breeze, and the thunder like pounding from a palpitating heart. Yi Ling shut his eyes again. Go on. Shin Chen Shu slowly let out a sigh of relief. The feeling Yi Ling gave off was intimidating in all that he did, his words, his actions and gestures, and even the expression in his eyes when he gazed at you, all these would make one frightened and nervous. He loves silence, she recalled Butler Luther's reminder, and it's rare for him to speak. Unconsciously, Yi Ling fell asleep. Yi Ling's nap did not last long. Shin Chen Shu's lap was numb from him resting on it, and her two arms were sore beyond words. I want to leave the house for a while, Yi Ling said calmly, pick me a set of clothes. Shin Chen Shu was astonished. From as far back as she could remember, this was the first time Yi Ling had ever left the house. Whenever she arrived at the castle, Yi Ling was always around, when she left, Yi Ling would still be around. Although she was surprised, she made no comment and helped prepare a set of clothing for him. End of chapter 2, click the link in the comments section to continue the novel.